Good morning, FHS, and welcome to the Sabre Roar. I'm Cassie. And I'm Anya. Today we will be getting an inside look at the amazing race, as well as checking out a few other events happening at FHS. Future Business Leaders of America, under the direction of Mrs. Zambaraz, put on a show where 14 young men volunteered to compete for the title Mr. FHS. FBLA members organized and ran the first Mr. FHS pageant in school history. The night began with an opening routine with all 14 contestants in a synchronized dance, and as the show continued, they expressed themselves through talent and question and answer portions. FBLA took it on, specifically Elizabeth and Alyssa, to try to promote the Sabre Stadium project and raise money. After the judges' consideration and individual contestant totals were calculated, both Noah and Sam were crowned Mr. FHS. Thanks to the hard work of the FBLA members, including Alyssa Ducats and Elizabeth Herrick for organizing this fundraiser, and the contestants who helped raise almost $2,000 for the Sabre Stadium project. Copies of this show are being sold in room 249 for $10. FBLA is the Future Business Leaders of America. This organization helps students get ready for the business world. FBLA was created to show students business opportunities in the area and promote the business community at the same time. The students compete in a series of competitions throughout the whole year. What they do is each choose a business test that they'd be interested in learning about. They compete in the regional event that occurs in February. Those students who do well will move on to state and then they have the chance to move on to a national competition. See Mrs. Ambras in room 241 for more information about joining. The Amazing Race will take place next week, Tuesday, during Resource. Robbie sat down with the juniors and seniors in order to get to know them better. Hi, I'm Robbie. I'm here with the junior contestants, Gio and Melissa. Um, how are you guys doing today? We're great. What she said. Um, do you guys think that you have a chance to win this competition? Of course. What would you guys say that your favorite activities are outside of? We're big LARPers. What, what is LARPing? Like live action role play. Uh, um, favorite sports? Probably tetherball. Uh, do you guys have any specific strategies to help you win this event? I'm going to tear the hearts out of our competition. And I'll be eating them. Wow. it's a bold strategy. We'll see how it pans out for you guys. We're here with senior contestants Sutton and Lazar. Lazar is currently high altitude training in Serbia right now. So we have him on speakerphone and this is Nick who's going to be a stand-in for him. Uh, how you doing Lazar? I'm doing good. Uh, um, all right, we're just going to get going straight with the questions. Um, do you guys think that you guys can truly win? Yes, because we are seniors and all we do is win. Lazar, do you think you guys can win? What is it all about, Marcus, <laughs> I didn't really understand that, but okay. Um, do you guys have any favorite sports or activities that you do outside of the Amazing Race? I really like tennis and lacrosse, and then I also like to train for the Amazing Race as well. And you, Lazar? I play soccer and I the Amazing Race. Yep, it's, it's, a, it's a lifestyle. Do you guys have any specific strategies to win this game? Teamwork. Yeah, teamwork makes the dream work. Looks like it will be a competitive race. Good luck to all of the classes. Cookies and spirit points are at stake. Franklin High School, as well as the district, is raising awareness for building a positive school climate and combat bullying with Blue Shirt Day. FHS, as well as the district, is taking a stand against bullying by participating in Blue Shirt Day. Blue Shirt Day is a day to symbolize to others to pay attention to their behavior and what role they have in making others feel safe and um, positive in school. Bullying is an issue that affects many students on a daily basis. Some students internalize it, some students externalize their response. Um, overall, it's going to affect the student. It's going to make them feel less of a person and make them feel uncomfortable. Blue Shirt Day is relatively new, but is already making a positive impact in getting the whole school involved. It's not a solution. It's not going to miraculously solve all our problems with relationships and positive climate of the school. But it's a symbol that once a month we want people to at least look at each other and look at themselves and how they're making themselves and others feel in this building. Tomorrow is Blue Shirt Day, so show your positive school spirit by wearing a blue shirt. Time again for this week's Student Uproar winners. Uh, my name is Brian Deblek and I'm representing Mrs. Sh Schindel. We have nominated Dan. Dan is a very responsible young man. 
think he's always willing to go the extra mile and the first one to volunteer for anything that uh, she needs. I nominated Ali Fons for the Sabre Uproar program. Allie served as my lifeguard teaching assistant for semester one. Allie was a pleasure to work with. Her maturity, uh, leadership, and communication skills were exceptional. Um, she has a wonderful way of um, helping students succeed, helping guide them along without fear or anxiety, and it was just an absolute pleasure to work with her. And if I were a boss, I would hire her in a minute. Congratulations, Dan and Allie. They won movie passes. Check out the rest of the nominees on the Sabre Slate. The Hollywood Talent Show auditions are Monday, February 10th. Sign up for an audition time during lunch this week or in TV Tech Room 249. Thursday, February 20th, watch your classmates compete for the $150 first prize. Next week, we won't be airing a show. We'll see you in the halls to cheer on your team for the amazing race. We'll be back the following week. Thanks for watching, guys.